hi happy Sunday I just wanted to create a short video for you guys uh, I'm thinking maybe 20 25 minutes it'll be sort of a quick flow there will be a little bit of focus on uh, the low back but of course uh, most of my videos tend to be uh, full body if you want to find something that you can elevate your hips with for waterfall at the end. Uh, I have a yoga block, but you could use a pillow, you could roll up a towel or a blanket, uh, maybe a stack of books, whatever works for you. So I'm gonna have my block and I'm gonna come to seated. I hope this works for you. Um, and we're gonna just kind of twist. So it's a gentle twist. You know, I hurt myself a couple weeks ago. I'm still healing. And so I want you to know incredibly how important it is to listen to your body. And then go the other direction again, left hand behind your tailbone, right hand to the left knee, twist. And then slowly come back to center. And the other way. And then kind of move with your breath. So I inhale as I come back to center and then I exhale on the twist. And then same thing, inhale and then exhale. And then slowly come back to center. Bring your hands right here to your knees. On your inhale, I want you to imagine you're tilting your pubic bone, your pelvis down towards the floor. So as you do that, I want you to create a slight arch in your low back. The heart sort of presses through your arms. And then on your exhale, round through the spine, creating space in between each and every vertebrae. And then slowly inhale, rotate the pelvis forward, open up through the heart, gaze up. Maybe drop your head to the left and right, bring it back to center. And then on your exhale, round through the spine. So you have a nice letter C shape with your body. I'm even leaning back onto the space behind the sits bones. And then one more time, inhale, rotate the pelvis forward, open up through the heart, gaze up. Again, little movement in the side of your, in your head and your neck to the side, maybe over to the other side. And then slowly come back up to center. Begin to roll those shoulders up, back and down. And I want you to really feel, really exaggerate that movement. Up, back, and down. And actually, let's go ahead and add to this. Find your cactus arms. And I want you to inhale your shoulders up, back, and down. Press the elbows towards the wall behind you. Feel the shoulder blades draw in towards your spine. Squeeze the space there. And then exhale, bring those elbows back to center. And then inhale, open up. Press the elbows back, the arms go back. Don't let the hands hang out here. We're really pressing the arms, the forearms back towards the wall behind you. Exhale, squeeze it together. And then let's do one more. Inhale, squeeze, press. And then exhale, bring it back together. And then slowly lower those hands back down. We're gonna slowly roll over. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna begin to walk our fingertips forward. Now, you could use the block here and you could rest your forearms on the block. I do want you to have a tiny uh, pelvic tuck so you're drawing the belly, not a tuck so much, but you're drawing the belly button in and up. Or you could bring the forearms to the ground. Feel the stretch across the low back. Drop the head down. And then very slowly begin to walk those hands back in towards your body as you round up, curl up through the spine, shoulders up towards the ears, roll them back and down and bring that head back up. Bring your right hand to the side of your body, walk the fingertips away from the body. The left palm flips up, inhale your left arm up and then reach over towards the wall. Inhale, bring that left arm back up. And then exhale again, reach towards the wall. And then one more inhale up. Allow the arm to drop back behind you. Feel it stretch through the arm. 
down possibly into the chest and then slowly bring that left arm around now imagine you're doing a freestyle crawl so the shoulder drops down that armpit drops down towards the left knee reach to the fingertips and then slowly bring the left arm out in front of you and all the way around bringing your torso back up to upright left fingertips walk away from the body right arm palm flips up flips up inhale right arm up and then begin to reach through the fingertips and then inhale bring that arm back up and then exhale reach through those fingertips and then one more inhale up and then from here begin to drop those arms back maybe your arm is here again you're dropping the arm opening up through the chest space to your comfort level exploring that range of motion big deep breath in and then exhale begin to reach through the fingertips right as you round through the back bringing that armpit down towards the right knee finding your freestyle freestyle crawl and then slowly bring the hand all the way around the body all the way around and bring everything back up to center shoulders up back and down creating a little movement here we're going to roll over onto all fours and i want you to bring those knees just slightly behind and begin to circle your hips so you're circling those hips and you can reverse direction so I'm giving you a little bit of movement here you know free time to explore maybe hang out in one spot once you get back there you might notice one juicy little spot that needs that extra love and you can shift your weight from side to side there same thing make sure you're taking care of both sides And then go ahead and press those hips back towards your heels, dropping the forehead down towards the ground, finding your child's pose. Now your child's pose may be here. Your knees could be as wide as the mat, the toes touch. You could place a block underneath your bottom so that your, your hips aren't as so low. And just melt into the floor. On your inhale slowly rise coming back up onto all fours bring the knees underneath your hips remove the block if it was there curl the toes under and send the hips up towards the sky finding your downward facing dog so you're in downward facing dog here I want you to initially kind of shift your weight forward so it's not a plank a full plank because my hips are still above my shoulders the shoulders are on top of the elbows and the elbows are on top of your wrist and then I want you to imagine you're melting your heart through those shoulders through the arms towards your thighs and then allow the head to relax so you are creating an upside down letter V with your body and once you are there begin to pedal those feet bending the knees one at a time and so let's say let's bend our right knee and just shift your hips from side to side noticing what you notice and then switch feet bend your left knee and shift those hips over to the left and then over to the right notice the stretch of the calf muscle maybe it changes the angle there getting different tissue fibers muscle fibers and tissues and go ahead and bring those knees back to center and send those hips up towards the sky so that chin is slightly tucked the gaze is towards the wall behind you right there where the ground might meet the floor or up at your belly button mm -hmm. 
On your inhale, I want you to roll forward, finding a plank position. I want you to shift your weight forward onto the balls of your feet, and then press your weight into your heels, and then come back onto the balls of your feet. Ground down through the palms. Pull the belly button in. Hug everything in towards the midline. And then on your exhale, slowly lower your chest all the way down to the ground. And then inhale, lift your heart up, find your cobra. So again, really listening to your body. So I want you to lower your chin down. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Roll the shoulders up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, and then draw them away from the floor, down the back, away from the ears. Hug the elbows in. Inhale, pull the belly button in, press the pubic bone into the floor, engage the legs, and then exhale, chin to floor. Two more, inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, chin to floor. And then last one, inhale, lift the heart up. And on this one, I want you to imagine you're clawing that mat and you're pulling your heart through your arms. Elbows squeeze tight, legs press in the floor, kneecaps lift up off the ground. And then exhale, chin to floor. Go ahead and bend your right heel in towards your body. Take your hand to the uh, outside of your ankle and then reach around and do the same thing with the left side. And I want you to just to notice the stretch in your quads with the knees on the ground for now. On your inhale, so the chin is still on the ground. On your inhale, press the ankles in to your hands. And then on your exhale, gently pull the heels a little bit closer to your bottom. And then again, inhale, press. Create your own resistance here. And then exhale, pull. It's a gentle pull. And then one more inhale, press. And then exhale, pull. And then slowly release those legs down. Rest your arms down by your side and drop your left cheek to your mat. And then slowly inhale, bring everything back to center. Tape the legs of the, tape your legs together. Find your mermaid tail, clasp the hands. Inhale, lift your legs up, begin to lift your chest, your arm up, your head. Squeeze everything in towards the midline. Press the hips down into the floor, belly button in and up. Squeeze, find your breath. And then exhale, slowly lower everything down. Rest the right cheek on the floor. And then slowly bring that chin back to center. Bring your hands right here by your chest, shoulders back and down, elbows in tight, inhale, press yourself up, curl the toes under, and find your downward facing dog.
Slowly lower back down onto the knees. Step the right foot forward. Lunging into the front leg. Again, you're gonna get a little bit deeper into the hip flexors now. So we did a little opening in the quads. Maybe you felt it in your hip flexors too. Maybe you felt it a little bit uh, further down the quad, closer to the knee. Kind of shift your weight left and right. Noticing how those hip flexors feel. And I would even so much as do lot, little circles here. And then slowly bring those hands to your quads. Shoulders, woo, up, back, and down, right? And then lunge into the front leg. So I want you to imagine you're scissoring your left thigh, your left hip forward as you pull your right hip back. Drawing the belly button in and up. Then you're using your palms to press into the leg to lift that chest and belly up off the thigh. And let's go ahead and inhale those arms up, gazing up towards the sky. Slowly bring the palms together, lower the hands all the way down, hands to either side of your right foot, slide the right knee back to meet the left, press the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Slowly lower down onto your knees. Step your left foot forward. Again, maybe even slide your knee back. And just kind of find some gentle movement side to side. Maybe tiny circles, kind of moving the hips. And then as you're ready, slowly inhale, bring the hands to the thigh and lunge into the front leg. Really feel that nice opening. And then slowly inhale, send those hands up towards the sky, gaze up towards the sky. And then slowly bring the palms together, lower the hands all the way down to the ground. Slide the left knee back to meet the right, curl the toes under, and find your downward facing dog. down onto those knees. If those knees are slightly behind your hips, bring them underneath your hips. And if your shoulders are not on top of those wrists, uh, find your appropriate hand placement, correct hand placement. From here, we're going to inhale, lift the right leg up. Inhale, lift the left arm up. You're lifting up out of the right shoulder. You're reaching through the fingertips, pressing through the heel. Inhale, we're going to crunch the knee and elbow underneath the body. Exhale, crunch. Two more. Inhale up, extend. Exhale, crunch. Last one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower down. Left side, inhale, lift the left leg up, right arm, reaching through the fingertips, pressing through the heel, inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Two more, inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Last one, inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Curl the toes under, lift the knees up, hips up towards the sky, downward facing dog. So we're gonna do triangle on each side. We're gonna step our left foot forward first. The left hand is in between your hands. We're gonna pivot the right foot open out to the side. And you can go ahead and bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot, begin to straighten the left leg, and then bring your right arm up. So the right arm comes up towards the sky, right into triangle. So we don't normally do that, but we are today. And then I want you to bring your actually right hand to your chest, peel the chest open, and then send the right hand back up. Really notice how that changes things in the right side of the body. Take the right fingertips and then reach them towards the front of your mat. Inhale, bring the right hand up, and then slowly come all the way back up to standing. Pivot both those toes in, arms are out, inhale, exhale, fold forward, drop the fingertips down towards the floor. Inhale, rise halfway, bring your hands to your hips, elbows point up, inhale, Rise all the way up, and then pivot the right toe away from the body. Arms are out, and then bring the right arm down, the left arm up. Again, finding triangle on the other side. Again, you can bring your hand to your chest, your sternum. Peel the chest open towards the wall behind you as you send the left arm back up. Gaze is somewhere between your big toe and up at those fingertips. And then take a big deep breath and flip the palm and reach the arm towards the front of your mat or what would have been maybe the back of your mat. And then inhale. From here, we're gonna slowly sink down into the legs we had on the other side, the same positioning, bring the right hand to the outside of the left and then spin the left hand around and slide the right foot back to meet the left. Plank. And then upward facing dog. I mean, downward facing dog, go ahead. And then slowly lower down onto the knees. Cross the legs behind you and roll over onto your bottom. Bring those legs out in front of you and windshield wiper your legs left and right. So I'm in my basement and it's pretty humid down here. I know it's rained a bunch, but I'm wondering if it just feels damp. I need a dehumidifier, I guess. So bring those knees back to center and then slowly lower yourself all the way down onto your back. Hug the knees in, rock from side to side, small circles. And then go ahead and find your happy baby, elbows to the inside of your knees. Bring your hands to your feet. Maybe you can't reach your feet and your hands are on your ankles. And again, you're just rocking from side to side. Small circles on your low back. And then very slowly release those feet. Hug those knees in. And place both those feet on the floor. So we, we will do waterfall. Um, I want you to grab your block or whatever you've decided to um, elevate your hips just slightly. Go ahead and lift those hips up and place your block right underneath your hips, that juicy spot between your iliac crest and the bottom of your tailbone. So right there along your sacrum, 
but you've got to feel on your body what feels comfortable for you and just let those arms relax. So we're gonna do a supported bridge. This way we're getting a nice opening across the front side of the body, but we're not doing the work in bridge. And I want you to focus on breathing in through the nose, filling the belly up, feel it rise up towards the sky, and then on your exhale, let all that air go out through the nose. Now you can stay here, or you can send your legs up towards the sky and hang out here. And just close your eyes here for a few moments. Hanging out here for a few moments. Letting everything go, allowing yourself to sink into stillness. One, from here, you can bend those knees down in towards your chest, keeping your hips elevated a little bit. You can bring your arms out onto the floor like the letter T, and just sort of dropping your knees over to the left ever so slightly, and then over to the right. Maybe small circles, so again, you're just kind of noticing what you notice. And then slowly place your right foot down and then your left foot down and let everything just hang out here for a moment if you wanted you could tape the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to fall away from one another Very slowly bring those knees together. Go ahead and lift your hips up. Lower those hips back down. Windshield wiper your legs left and right. <clears throat> slowly heel toe your feet as, as wide as your mat. Let your knees drop in towards one another so that they touch. heel toe your feet together bring your left leg across the right thigh extend the arms up overhead inhale exhale drop your legs over to the right now you're listening to your body here so the muscles that I hurt are muscles that are uh, somewhat responsible for twisting and rotation of the trunk so you could put a block bringing the floor just slightly closer to you like I'm gonna do here so I don't overdo it. 
right? I could think I should go further than I need to or maybe could, but we want to honor our body. And then slowly inhale, bring everything back to center. Uncross the legs, bring the right leg across the left thigh, inhale, and then exhale. Twist. Inhale, slowly bring everything back to center, uncross your legs, Oof. back and forth. Any final movements you feel your body needs, hug those knees in, lift your head up, hug your chin into your knees, and then slowly lower yourself down. Bring those arms down by your side, close your eyes, and just sink into stillness. Just again, if you did not listen to the sound meditation, notice all of the sounds that you hear and just sink into those sounds. See if you can isolate those sounds. Sinking in to the isolated sounds that you hear, becoming one with the sound that you hear. Allowing your body to melt into the floor. Give yourself permission to let go. This can be the hardest pose. like you to hang out here as long as you need to. And then as you are ready to get up, create movement slowly, bringing movement slowly back into the body. into your fingers and toes, your ankles and your wrists, whatever feels good to you. Extending those arms out overhead, point the toes, flex the feet, hug the knees into your chest, big hug. Inhale, exhale, roll over on, oh, it's a tender, tender side. Roll over onto your favorite side. And then very slowly press yourself all the way back up to seated. Bring your hands right in front of your heart. Actually, let's bring our hands here first. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, lower the hands down, big deep breath in. Exhale, the last one, inhale. Exhale, hands up to the forehead. Thank you so much for joining me today.
It is the light and love in me that honors the light and love in you. Namaste.